Did I buy these? No. You said you weren't gonna buy anything this trip. Fine. You're right. <laughs> Have to stay strong. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. So tomorrow we're gonna be officially five weeks out. Yeah, it's getting real. But anyways, we just left the grocery store and I went to get some stuff that I needed for the week. Some chicken, strawberries, yeah, same, same old. So I got a bang so it could pick me up. We're a little tired. What did you get? I got this Alani Mimosa flavor. And by the way, I did a video on energy drinks, so the link will be in the description below. This is my blog. <laughs> Anyways, well, we're gonna go home and today is a high carb day. Sundays we usually carb load, but high carb dates for me, honestly, like, I don't really feel them I'm still hungry like I'm so hungry like this past two weeks have been really 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 hard and but we're almost there we're almost in the finish line so we just have to keep going on these vlogs I haven't really shown what it is to have struggles during prep because honestly there's a lot of struggles like every day especially because this sport is very mental super mental and especially when you are this close to show day you it just hits you more so i wanted to show you guys some struggles that i go through and yeah that's what we're gonna do so i'll see you guys back home we're gonna go home and i'm gonna make some food today i get to eat some steak with potatoes i know I'm so excited but yeah let's go home so I am home and I'm putting everything on my fridge and you know what like this is something I really really been struggling with lately just lately you know because we're five weeks out and I see this all the time just want to give up and eat it guys this is a struggle even though it's sugar-free, I want it, but, but then I have to stay strong. So yeah, that is something guys, only bikini competitors know what it is, what it feels like. Okay, so I'm going to finish putting everything in my fridge and I'm going to cook some dinner. Alrighty guys, so I am gonna eat some chicken and cucumber. This is meal number five, and then I have one more. So, eat this. What are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm eating. I'm eating a chicken, chicken and sausage with peppers, pepperoni pizza, 400 calorie, amazing macros. Yeah, guys, so that's another thing that it's hard when you're on prep. Um, mm -hmm. You know, you... You can't eat some stuff, even though that's a healthy option, still can't eat it. And it's hard when you're hungry, when you're this far on prep, but anyways, yeah, gotta be real. I mean, if you don't crave that, I don't know what's wrong with you, right? 
Mm. But anyways, we're gonna finish eating. And then we're gonna make meal number six. That one's gonna be good. guys today is monday and i just woke up so i'm gonna go do some cardio and drink coffee and drink some fat burners and go this is a struggle but we have to do it so Stay positive, people. <laughs> See you guys on the next one. So we are here outside of the gym, and I wanted to I wanted to record this little clip because lately it's been really really hard for me to go and work out after well in the morning, just because I have been doing zero carbs in the morning for a while now so coming to the gym with no carbs I don't know if you ever done that but it's probably one of the hardest things one of the hardest things I ever done but um yeah that's I mean I come to the gym with no energy and sometimes the pre-workout doesn't even help but you know um it's okay we have we still have to come we still have to show up no matter what I mean that's how it is right like what can you do um i tried asking my because i only have a little bit of carbs and only for one meal and i have zero carbs all day that's what we have been doing for the past two weeks so that's why it's been really tough on my body and i asked my coach i said can i do carbs can i eat those carbs before the gym and he said no so so it's fine i mean everything everything has a purpose so yeah but I wanted to show you guys that that's another struggle that I've been dealing with for the last two weeks you know coming to the gym with no carbs and it's fine um, I'm gonna do some legs today some some quads and some glutes and then I'm gonna do some cardio another hour of cardio I did cardio this morning so I'm um, a little I'm doing like a little bit more than two hours a day of cardio mm. so yeah I'm gonna get going guys because I don't want to burn this fuel but yeah I'll see you guys on the next clip no fuck that I'm not gonna do it again I'm tired alrighty guys today is the next day and I just got back from facet cardio and I am having my second cup of coffee. Cheers. I always have to have two coffees in the morning. If I don't have them in before cardio, I just come and have one after. But anyways, I wanted to end this video today. I was going to end it yesterday when I was recording, but... That's another struggle that I had to add in this video. You get super tired. Well, for me especially, at the end of the day, I kind of just go downhill and I just don't want to do anything after working out and doing the cardio. I just kind of just want to hang out. And yeah, so that's another thing. You lose energy big time. I know that people always see the good parts of competing, like they see the good stuff, especially on Instagram. If you just see, if you follow someone that is going through prep, you just see the fun, you know, them working out or looking good. Um, and then show day, which is the best part. That's obviously the reason you're prepping all these weeks for that day. But you just, you just see that. But you don't see how long 
or what you have to do to get to that moment. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's hard sometimes mentally and physically. I feel like in order to do this sport, you have to be okay mentally and not get yourself into this if you're not. So yesterday, I was feeling really, really good. And I mentioned because Sunday, I had a really good refeed. So when I woke up, I'm like, oh my God, I'm feeling like myself again. This is wonderful. This is perfectly splendid. If you guys know where I'm saying that saying from, comment down below. So this is my second show. This is my second time doing this. And honestly, comparing both, I feel like this one, it's been harder than the last time, than the last one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day, week, night. I'll see you guys in the next one.